Welcome to day five of your Pilates Reformer workout program focused on centering both physically and mentally. Today we're going to do a series focused on upper body. So it's going to be arms, back, shoulders, the whole deal. I placed on one red spring and one yellow spring or one heavy and one extra light. I'm going to turn to face the shoulder blocks. I'm going to place my headrest down, find your straps, and we're going to get started. If you are not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button so I can see you again tomorrow for day six. And if you're looking for more from me, please click join to become a member. There you can find workouts that are only available there. It's a great option if you want to continue your progress from this program and maybe challenge yourself a little bit. Let's get started. So I'm coming to sitting on my heels. You could alternately be in a cross-legged position or extend your legs over the headrest. I'm going to grab the straps into my hands and my palms are going to face down. So I'm finding my nice natural curve. My ribs are right over my hips. I'm going to begin pressing the palms back, squeezing the shoulder blades together bringing them back to starting. As I inhale, I'm gonna exhale, zip my belly button in and up, press the palms to my sides or slightly back, bring them up, grow a little bit taller. Exhale, press back. Good, let's take it for four. Growing a little taller as the arms press back. Good, three, shoulder blades squeeze together without popping the rib cage forward. Ribs stay down toward the pelvis. Every time you move, zip the abs up and relax as you inhale. Squeeze the shoulder blades together in the back. Good, feel all that good back work happening. Good, pause at the back. You're gonna look over your left shoulder, back to center, over your right shoulder, back to center. Hands come back, grow a little taller. Exhale, press back over your right shoulder, center, over your left shoulder, center. Back to starting. Organize your torso, abs engage over your left shoulder, center, right shoulder, center, good. Deep breath in, engage your core over your right, center, left, center, good. Release, close the stopper gently, let's move on. I've switched down to one red or one heavy spring, I've taken off that extra light, and I'm gonna place my hands back in the straps. Palms will be wide, and this time I'm bringing my hands out slightly to the side. Stacking my spine just where it was, I'm gonna bring my hands in toward the waist and slightly outward. Exhale, press in toward my body, slightly out. My palms are staying facing the back the entire time. So I'm feeling work happening through the shoulders, through the upper back. Hands come away as they come forward and close as they come back. Last two, keep the hands pretty low or else you risk really angering your traps here, unless it's not a concern for you. And one, nice. Next, I'm gonna flip my palms to face forward. Hands are still in the straps. I'm gonna take that same motion, but this time I'm gonna keep my wrists facing back. So growing a little taller, abs engage, hands come close to the carriage and up and out. Exhale, hands press back and down up and out. Very hard to keep the torso stable here. Good. Only going to take a few more of these. Shoulder blades squeeze together as the hands press back. Run tall each time. The hands come forward as it's very easy to sink down. Last one. And forward. Very nice. Now, Hands will still be in the straps. My palms will flip to face each other. I'm gonna raise the arms up so that the hands are just about in line with my shoulders. I'm gonna stabilize my torso. Arms extend out to the sides. Hands stay facing forward. Arms come to front. Good. Palms face forward, arms to the T and back. As you extend the arms along, the shoulder blades are gonna to wing together and bring it back in. So the stopper will close. If you need to choke up on the ropes a little bit to help you feel stable through this, you're welcome to do that. I'm gonna do that now. <sighs> Taking care not to pop the rib cage as the hands press back. That means you're gonna lose your core connection and palms should stay facing each other and then forward as the hands press out. Last one. <sighs> Very nice. All right, now hands thread through the loops. I'm gonna grab onto the ropes above the hardware. You're gonna hinge forward slightly. So for this one, I'm gonna actually anchor my toes down onto the mat while I sit on my heels. Sit up tall now. So ribs right over pelvis, shoulders over ribs. I'm gonna press the hands back, holding onto the ropes this time, keeping the ribs down. <sighs> Shoulder blades really squeeze in. 
and together as the hands press down. <sighs> Resist the springs as you come forward. Feel your shoulder blades move along your back. This one's really, really good for back strength and posture. You're probably feeling shoulders as well. We'll get into triceps right after this. Nice, last two. And one. Good. Next time you press back, you're gonna hinge forward, bend and extend the elbows, keeping the hips low, keeping my elbows anchored into my waist, gazes down, Bending at the waist, lifting the abs, feeling the back of the arm work, relaxing through the neck and shoulders. We're going to release in a minute and then continue on. Last three, using your breath through the hard parts, two, and one. Good. Okay. Close the stopper and let's move on. Taking a mid-workout break to center, placing my hands onto the shoulder blocks in front of me. My legs are crossed, or you could straddle the machine if you have a machine with legs. I'm gonna begin just doing an arch and curl, and I'm gonna use my palms on top of the shoulder blocks to give me a little bit of a cue for positioning. So I'm gonna take a big breath in, sit up really tall. I'm gonna exhale. Look for my belly button, find a big curve. Pelvis scoops under, back rounds. Feel your shoulders stretch, feel your upper back stretch with your palms pressing against the shoulder blocks. Big inhale, exhale, stack the spine and arch. So I'm sending my tailbone back, opening my chest without popping the rib cage, lifting my sternum up, gaze goes on an upward diagonal, hands press against the shoulder blocks. Exhale, curl, curve through the spine, pelvis tucks under. Look for your belly button or your pubic bone. Exhale, unfurl it. Feel all the muscles in your face relax. Good, sit up tall, switch your legs. So the other one is on top. If you're cross-legged, we'll take two more. Big breath in. Curl, feel the stretch through your upper back. And articulate through the spine. Chest opens. Good. Curve under. Exhale, lift, let's move on. Next, we're gonna do my favorite arm series. So I flipped onto a blue spring or a light spring. I'm gonna be sitting on my heels to start. You can kneel up. That's gonna give you a little bit more resistance. I'm gonna take a moderated version today. Legs are right up against the shoulder blocks. I've grabbed the right strap in my right hand. I'm gonna bring my hand up to shoulder height so my arm starts at a right angle. I've brought my rib cage down, abs are engaged, palm is facing my ear. I'm gonna exhale, push up through the palm. Exhale, bring the arm back down. Big breath in. Bring it back down. Good. You can feel all the muscles in your back that you just worked. Supporting your arm as you press up and your shoulder supports as well. Good, two more. And one. Very nice. Flipping my palm to face the floor, bringing my hand right in front of my sternum. Left arm extends out to the side. I'm gonna take a big breath and grow tall. Start twisting through the torso before the hand presses out to the side. Hand comes back in front of the sternum, not further. Deep breath in, exhale. Extend out and back. So this is an oblique twist with an arm extension, getting lots of shoulders. If it feels more comfortable for you to kneel for this one, if you're not already, that might help you if you're having some issues with the twist. Let's take two more. Big breath in. Good. Grab that strap into your left hand. Shimmy your, your legs away from the shoulder blocks. I'm gonna flip my palm to face the ceiling. Elbow comes right over my shoulder. I'm gonna bend and extend the arm. Good. Placing my hand down onto the mat. Good, three more. And I'm not extending my elbow out to the side. I'm really trying to keep it right over the shoulder here. Good, last one. Nice. I'm gonna come down to a cross-legged position now. I'm gonna pull on the rope, bring the strap right in front of my shoulder and my palm is gonna flip to face the ceiling. You can also hold onto the rope with your right hand a little bit. 
if you need a little extra support. But what we're gonna do is wing the hand slightly out to the side and back, slightly out to the side and back. The most important thing is that the elbow stays anchored in toward your waist. Rather than coming out, you're gonna lose a lot of the work. Palm stays facing up. Good, and core stays engaged. Very nice. Last but not least, we're gonna draw a sword. So strap is still in your palm, bring your ribs right over your hips. We're gonna start with the hand right in front of the waist. So we're gonna lift the elbow, extend the arm up, exhaling out, inhale, bring it back. Deep breath in, exhale. Upward diagonal and back. So try not to let the shoulder lift up toward the ear. We don't want the traps taking over here. You're gonna feel shoulder, back, Probably some bicep and triceps too. Last two. And one. Using your breath, good. Close the stopper. We're gonna turn around, go for the other side. All right, coming down to sit on your heels or kneeling. I'm gonna bring the strap next to me into my left hand. Legs are right up against the shoulder blocks. Palm flips to face my ear, elbow high. I'm gonna extend over my shoulder. Inhale, bring it down. Big breath in, extend up and lower down. Palm is staying facing the ear. Elbow comes wide to the side. Shoulder down. Exhaling to help you out here. Last one. Very nice. Right arm out to the side, left hand in front of the sternum. You're gonna exhale, twist through the torso, extend the left arm forward and back. Deep breath in, exhale, twist as you extend and back. Arms are staying right in line with the shoulders. If you're sitting on your heels, your twist is gonna be a little bit smaller than if you're kneeling, that's fine. Good, this is two and one. Nice. Flip the strap into your other hand. You're gonna scoot your legs a little bit away from the shoulder blocks. Hand down on the mat, or if you're kneeling, up on the shoulder rest in front of you. Arm is extended up to the ceiling. Bend and extend for six. This is five, hinging at the elbow. Four, trying not to wing the elbow out to the side. Three, palm is facing the ceiling. Shoulders away from your ears, last one. Good, lower the arm and come down to sitting in a cross-legged position. Pull the rope to get your hand right in front of your shoulder. Your elbow is gonna be anchored to your waist. You can keep that hand on the rope if you like. Palm faces up. You're gonna wing the hand slightly out and back in line with your shoulder. Slightly out and back in front. Again, we don't want the elbow to come away from the torso. The most important thing, aside from not hurting yourself, is keeping your elbow anchored into your waist and sitting up tall. Two, and one. Very good. So next we're gonna go into draw a sword. So the strap is in your hand, your palm is facing your stomach. You're gonna lift your elbow, extend up and out, bend your elbow, bring your hand back down like you're taking a sword out of its sheath. Good, shoulders relax, inhale. Exhale as you extend. Use your breath, good. Release the tension you have in your face if you're holding your mouth firm or if you are tensing through your eyebrows. Just let it release. Good, last one. And back down. Beautiful job. Now let's move on to a stretch and final centering. So toes are curled under, you're gonna face the foot bar soles of the feet will be up against the shoulder blocks. I've switched on to one red and one blue or one heavy and one light spring. Hands are on the foot bar in front of you. I'm gonna take a nice long spine as I press out, pushing into the foot bar, extending through the shoulders. Chest comes down, your torso may meet your thighs. Good. Lift the head as you come up, nice neutral spine without popping through the ribs. Big breath in, exhale, press down. Let your head be heavy, let your chest be heavy. Good, sit on up. Good, sit down on your heels next. We're gonna extend the forearms over the shoulder blocks. Sitting down onto your heels. 
Same movement, but this time we're gonna be nice and rooted with a closed carriage. Deep breath in. Still feel the shoulder stretch. Move around if you need to. Exhale, release. Breathing into the back of your lungs. Exhale, using your abdominals as you exhale. Let's sit up tall again. Hands shoulder distance apart on the bar, sitting on your heels. You're gonna lift your right arm up. Twist, look behind you, palm up to the ceiling. Up and down. Left arm up, palm up, twist, reach behind you. Up and back down to the foot bar. Reach up with the right arm shoulder distance, bring it out to a T, half T. Twist, reach behind you, feel a stretch through your bicep and shoulder, down. Reach your arm up to shoulder height, twist to the left, out to a half T, back down, hands down, sit up nice and tall. Wiggle your shoulders back, sack your spine nice and even. Last big inhale, grow taller. Exhale through your pursed lips, open your eyes, you are all set. Thank you so much. Great job, and if you've made it this far in the program, I'm very proud of you. Please meet me again for day six. And if you're not yet subscribed, please hit subscribe so I can see you again soon. And if you're already subscribed and you'd like to see exclusive content with bonuses for me, please hit join to become a member and get all those goodies. Big shout out to my membership supporters. You guys are making this all possible and I so appreciate you. And thanks also to my Super Thanks supporters. Love you guys.